You know, I'm sure there's an explanation for all of them. I mean, that one there, that's when the council changed the bin collection day. <laughs> this deep one here, that's man's inhumanity to man. <laughs> oh, the human race has done some terrible things, isn't it? Uh, and that one there is when they changed Jif to Sif. <laughs> No! <laughs> this one here, this one here I've worked out, that's the thousands of hours I've spent in my life looking for keys. <laughs> I worked out I spent at least six months of my life in the hallway of my house just going, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the fucking uh, keys, the fucking, oh, oh, oh. My wife always says the same thing, have you looked everywhere? I go, no, of course I haven't. <laughs> Because I'd have found them, wouldn't I? <laughs> They've got to be somewhere. We're not suggesting they've dematerialised. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't even covered the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> I've just done the hallway and a bit of the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't even lift anything up. I just went, ah, fuck, lost them. <laughs> this here, between my eyes, I've got two lines between my eyes. They're permanently there. They're like buttocks in my face. <laughs> Right. It's like someone sitting on my face going, having a nice day, Sean. <laughs> and I call these lines, I call these my lack of respect lines, you know, because uh, I don't feel like I get enough respect you know, in society. I'm not saying I want awards or OBEs or anything like that. Or I, don't, I don't want people to step back when I walk in the room. You know, little things would be nice. Maybe if people didn't speed up when I crossed the road. That would be nice. <laughs> so I wouldn't say it happens on a regular basis, but often enough to make me feel like a less than valued member of society. <laughs> I'm sure many of you have experienced that. You're walking across the road and you think, they're speeding up, aren't they? <laughs> it's horrible. But it, what's worse about it is what it makes you do. Because you suddenly you have to accelerate from a casual walking pace. You're walking across the road like this, you go, they're speeding up, aren't they? And then you have to do this, you go. <laughs> like you're in Swan Lake or something like that. Uh, uh, and it happened to me recently, I was, I was crossing a road and this VW Golf came over the brow of the hill and I heard the revs go, <laughs> I thought, right, we're on. <laughs> and my heels got onto the kerb just as the car went past, I went, <laughs> and I did what most of you have done here, well, many of you would have would, would do, done the same. As he was driving off, I went like this, I went, wanker, <laughs> you wanker. <laughs> and I think this is fair enough. I call this the pedestrian's horn. I haven't got an inbuilt horn. If I did, that'd be fantastic, you know? If I had this permanently rigged up to speakers all over the country, it'd be fucking great. I'd just go, oh! <laughs> How good that would be. That would be great, wouldn't it? To be honest, I'd abuse it. I'd use it when it wasn't necessary. I'd be an old lady with checkout paying with coupons. Oh! <laughs> Someone on the wrong side of an escalator. Oh! Some chugger comes up to me, would you like to donate money? Ah! <laughs> I just hang around Starbucks waiting for people to say, can I get a coffee? Ah! It's not get, it's have! <laughs> if you get a coffee, you work there! <laughs> Coffee, you have it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's another line. <laughs> but sadly, I haven't got that, so I have to use this. This is the next best thing. You know? And I think what I'm communicating to the guy as he drives off, what I'm communicating is uh, hey, hey, I know you tried to kill me. Yeah? <laughs> I'm not thrilled about it. <laughs> so let's not meet up on a regular basis and do this, yeah? <laughs> But he obviously didn't agree with that, because he stopped. <laughs> so I thought I might stop as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, 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 the old cricket season starting soon, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> I feel like chicken, chicken tonight. Because <laughs> I was thinking, if I hadn't have done that, if I just carried on, because he started reversing towards me right now. If I just carried on, he'd have reversed right up to me and I'd just gone, 
Hmm. <laughs> this, nothing. No, I just... I love those gold blend ads. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, he did. He started reversing up the road towards me, and I thought, I can't do that as well. I can't walk back across the road. <laughs> yeah. Let him have another go. Go on. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. And he wound the window down, and he was a horrible-looking bloke, really horrible. Look like the sort of bloke. You know the sort of blokes who turn up at sex trial just to bang on the van. Those sort of people. <laughs> And he ran his window down, and he looked me in the eye, and this is absolutely true, what he said, I swear, it's absolutely true. He looked me in the eye, and he went, Did you wank me off? <laughs> and I wanted to laugh. I wanted to laugh. <laughs> but I didn't feel the mood was right. <laughs> but I, what I couldn't believe was he didn't realise what he said. He didn't, he didn't realise, because he said it again. He said, Do you think you can just wank me off like that? <laughs> Nobody wanks me off. <laughs> which may explain the excessive speed. But... <laughs> but I should point out at this moment, because my wife, sometimes she doesn't like me to bring loads of carrier bags back from the shop, she just gives me like, one of her shopping baskets. She says, I'll take that, take that. And, it, and I was, that was what I was carrying that day. Was, and it was like a real lady shopping basket. It was bright green plastic, like that, like that, with big green handles. And on the side was a purple and pink flower. So that's what I was carrying. So I look pretty soft, you know. I'm not a hard man by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm not as soft as I looked carrying this. Basically, this is what he saw going across the road. <laughs> I look like Julie Andrews. <laughs> so then he said to me, he said, do you want me to break your jaw? <laughs> There's no right answer to that, is there? <laughs> if I say yes, that means yes. If I say no, that's like, yes, please. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when you're in a tricky situation, you just, sometimes you don't think, you just act. So the first thing I tried was um, I just went like this. I went, whoo, because I thought there must have been a first time for Spider-Man, yeah? <laughs> I thought, I'll give it a go. <laughs> I've never actually done that before. <laughs> Might get lucky. <laughs> Obviously, nothing happened. I probably wouldn't be here now. I'd be fighting crime. <laughs> so what I did was, and I didn't really think this through, what I did was I lifted the basket up so it's very close to my face, right? and I looked him in the eye and I said, by the way, this isn't mine, you know. <laughs> and it sort of worked. It sort of worked. Well, I say it worked. He spat at me, called me a cunt and drove off. <laughs> I was quite pleased with that. If you'd offered me that at the start, I'd have bitten your hand off. <laughs> Spat out, called a cunt, drove off. Let's do it now. <laughs> Where do you want me? Over here? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't think an ombudsman could have done a better job. <laughs> but as he, as he was driving off, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if he'd still realise what he said. He's probably drove off and he's probably going, yeah, nobody wanks me off, no. <laughs> Anyone thinks they can wank me off? They are very much mistaken. <laughs> when really what he should have been thinking was, why do you do that? <laughs> <laughs>